Well, good morning. Got a little something a little bit different today. We're going to be replacing the air conditioner, the 15K, in our camper. This thing's about six years old, almost seven, and we use it a lot. Uh, even during the summer when it's down, I tend to keep these air conditioners on like 90 degrees just to keep the humidity out of the unit. And it does help with that. But I did notice that last summer it uh, started to not shut off uh, when I got when I went out at night or in the morning after it had kind of cooled off. And uh, I tested it, and everything looks good. There's no leaks, but I think an expansion valve has failed because it's just not not uh, transferring heat properly versus the one in the bedroom. So I didn't want to spend the money because I'm cheap on a full replacement Coleman unit because they're about 1200 bucks. Uh, this Advent unit is 700 ish. Um, had some fairly good reviews, but it does require a couple of modifications. And so we're going to look at what we need to do first. And let's see, ACM 150 or AC 150. I don't know what the hell the difference is between the AC and the ACM 150 is, so I guess I gotta go up on the roof and open this thing up, which I have to do anyway, and uh, look at the model number and see what we got. So let's get up there. Okay, so getting this cover off is fairly simple. You got four big Phillips. Sometimes they can be kind of snug. These aren't because I've taken them off recently to look at it. Save those. And then the cover kind of just lift it up in the front, lift it up in the back. Maybe. <laughs> All right. And then it comes off. That was my sealing up all of the gaps job. Try to keep the cold in. Model number is a 48254C869. I have no idea what the hell that means. <laughs> Doesn't match anything. So, uh, I guess we're going to go get the new unit and open the box and see what we got and see if we can make any of this make sense. Okay, I think I see what we've got to do. We've got to do both of these things. We're going to be removing a control box from that unit and using this to bolt it in place. And we also are going to have to run a wire, which is this adapter, from the new unit to the control box. So that makes sense, I think. All right. So, I guess what we're going to do now we're just going to start following the directions. Remove the ceiling assembly cover, which is that thing. But the first thing you got to do is take your. Come on. Grates and these cheesy filters down. There. And then you've got one, two, three four screws and this cover comes down. Now you see a couple other screws and you'll see what that is in a second. Let's see if that falls in the vent. And now what you've got is a plenum splitter that takes it from the cold side to the inlet side. That has four more little screws on it. Not much to it. I 
think we may end up having to reuse this, so. Save it. All right, and then there, that comes down. That works. Okay, pick up the rest of the screws. Three out of four on the floor, both times. All right, now, don't mind this wire. I was playing with it to try to see if I could fix something and it didn't. So, I believe this little guy has to come out. That's the splitter. I'll save that because that's going to go back. And I think the rest of this is just held in with these four big bolts that just suck the whole thing down on top of it. Oh yeah, there's that control box they just noticed that they were talking about. That's going to have to come down and we will end up using that. Okay, that's going to be interesting. Uh, I don't see how... Oh, oh, yep, 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 I do see it. Let me get a light. Okay, yeah, we got a couple little wing nuts up there. Those have to come off. That foam is stuff I put in there to block off holes where air would escape around it. So, let's get this guy down. Alright, I think I see what we're doing here. This is pretty good. Alright, there's one little wing nut. And oh, I'm sure this is fascinating. another little wing nut. And this should come off. And it does. Alright, so now i got to go get some cutting pliers to snip this and then I can drop it down. And uh, I don't think I'm going to have to disconnect too many wires. I think the only thing I'm going to have to disconnect is this plug. Everything else is going to stay there. Alright, so that's good. So we'll be back in a minute once I grab a couple of more tools. All right, got the wire snippers. Get that guy out of there. Let's see if we can pull this guy down. Yep. Get this thing out of here because we're going to change that with the new one right here. That's the anti-freeze switch. Okay, now it says just take the nine-pin plug out of that thing, which is this. goes. Yeah. All right. Tuck that up there. Cool. Now she is uh, ready to remove, it says. So I'll just leave this guy dangling. Might clean it off a little bit. And we're going to pull these four big bolts and that's all that's holding that thing on. Oh, God, I hate those things. Jeez, they're everywhere. You just can't get rid of those damn things. All right, let's see if we've got a, uh, a tool. Back in a minute. Yep, sure do. So, what in the wide world of sports? Good night! Did Ford build this thing? Good gracious! Yeah, I guess that's how they all are. Holy smoke! feeling this is about to fall on my head. Yep. Let's try to hold it. Yep. Uh, 
Okay. Okay, that's the roof. It's right here where this foam is. Hmm, I wonder if that's glued as well. Yeah, you can see the roof. This area here. See the, the little shit crappy wood, and then this is actually the roof membrane. So that foam is sitting on the roof membrane. I don't see anything else. I don't want to mess up the roof, obviously. So give me a minute to think about this one. All right, well, I don't see anywhere that thing is still attached. Because this is where everything is attached is under this box, because this is your inlet and discharge. That's where the, uh, I guess, evaporator coil is, condenser coil is over here. Um, so, I guess I'm just going to try to lift up on it, see what happens. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. Oh yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy crap those bugs. Uh. Holy shit. Look at that disaster. Oh, I hate those things. Okay. Let's get these nightmares the hell out of here. So they don't find their damn way into this coach. Good God. Oh, I hate those bugs. They stink so bad. Okay. Well, that's not much to that. I'm going to go get a little bit of cleaning solution and buff this all up, but this is done right now. So far, so good. That's what it looks like underneath your air conditioner. <laughs> So we're gonna, let's see, how heavy is this? Uh, not too bad. Perfect. Bugs eliminated. Guess we don't need this either. I'm gonna strip that for copper and steel and everything and then recycle it. All right, so that was easy enough. And now, let's see, yeah, I'm gonna go get some stuff, clean this off, get her nice and spiffy. I'm amazed they didn't use any sealant. I figured they would have used some Dicor or something to stick it down, but I guess not. So I'm just gonna do the same thing. We're gonna get it real nice and clean and uh, proceed. All right, well, we got that all cleaned off. And so now, I think it is ready to go get the new unit. See what we need to do to that. Looks like I gotta cut a hole in it and drill a few things and do some other things and stuff. Uh, I don't know what this is. I think this is a starter cap. So, we can do that after the fact. We will see. All right, back in a few. I would say that this is probably what would be considered the hard part of this installation is getting that 100 pound box up to the top of the unit, but tractor for the wind. All right, so there it is. Kind of banged in over here a little bit, <laughs> but looks like it'll, it'll work. Shipping, you know. So, I guess the first thing we got to do is go back down there and grab my big screwdriver and get this thing taken apart and see what we've got under here. Okay. All right. Wow, that 
That's a lot of foam. <laughs> Let's take a look at this bad boy. That's a lot of foam. Okay. So looking at this, this evaporator cover is what they're talking about removing and cutting a hole in. And that's just a big hunk of foam. Motor feels good. That's cool. We've got a place for a secondary cap, which is neat. But we do have a pretty good sized one here. Oh, it's supposed to be there. <laughs> That's where it's supposed to go. That makes sense. There we go. Yeah, this thing got tweak tweakified a little bit. <clears throat> In shipping, of course. Because that's just what happens these days. Doesn't look like it did any damage. Okay. Yeah, it looks like we got a secondary capacitor to install too, which is kind of nice. Yeah, this... We'll have to re-glue, seal some of this stuff, because that's kind of ridiculous. Alright. Yeah, she's a cheap unit, but... We'll see how long she lasts. It doesn't seem to be too terrible to, uh, to change. I kind of like the fact that this is not really exposed at the bottom. Um, it only has these slots to get junk in rather than the other one, which was wide open. So we'll see if that makes a difference or if that gets plugged up with junk over the coming years. So, all right. All right, let's get this apart. Okay. Not much holding that on other than this plastic tape that I can see. So. We're going to have to come up with something better than that. There we go. Okay. Nope, that was it. Not much to it. Set that right there for now. And the instructions are for this model. This is an ACM, so we don't need this one. And this is the one we do need. The evaporator shroud removed. Mark a rectangle in the front of the evaporator cover. Cut out the rectangle. Oh wow, that control box is going to be on the outside now? Why? Why would I want to put that on the outside? I guess because there's not a lot of room under here. Hmm. Intriguing. Sure enough. Yeah, they say this thing is going to be mounted basically on the outside here. And then the wires are going to go through. I guess. Not much room in there for that, so that's what we'll have to do. Hmm. All right, downstairs. Let's go take some measurements and hack a hole in this thing. All right, so that's about in the correct location. And yeah, this is how it's going to end up with this outside the wall like that. And, uh, Makes it a little less convenient to screw with it, but that's because the plenum is pretty damn small. So, well, it is what it is. 
already got the little freeze plug stuck in there so all right well we're gonna go mark this thing and chop the old hole in it see what we got all right we're gonna try to get this thing reattached oh I see what they I see what they wanted why would they need that they had wanted to put a hole in here for the wires why I don't know uh, I don't understand that one since we're using the existing frame and bolts and everything else I'm gonna try to just get a couple of these started in the new unit maybe Get it located, possibly. Well, actually, no. I just realized I got to put some tape up there. They missed a an isolation point up top where the one of the bolts that holds the compressor in. They put the. Uh, they've got some foam tape on it so that it uh, doesn't impinge on the ceiling and they missed one of them so I gotta go get that and get that done and then we're gonna cut that hole and move on with our lives okay so you can see this guy is open this one has foam on it and this one has foam on it this one doesn't I believe it's supposed to be this one and they missed and that is really well stuck in there so I've got some old school insulation, <coughs> Edgewater gasket I think it's called, back in the day when I used to do a lot of air system stuff. And we're going to try to get some hunks of this stuck on top of this thing to make it so that that won't touch the roof. And see why this is not, this is a cheaper unit because it's uh, Probably Chinese, I can't tell. But, uh, come on. If I could get the damn backing to separate. There it goes. I'm gonna put a few layers on this thing. Because the last thing you want is a bolt rubbing through your roof. From your supposedly new air conditioner. This stuff has got to be <laughs> God, 20 years old at least, if not more. There. Okay. Clunk. Oops. Now we're all cut out. Get you up here. All right. Now we gotta get this thing settled again. It looks like it might work. We're good. Put it down there. All right, back downstairs. All right, now that we got that fixed, let's try this again.
see. Now I see. Now I know what the holes are for. <laughs> and see the angle. Yeah. The uh, this thing here has a slightly wider ball pattern. So that's what those holes are for. All right. Well, we're gonna mark those, drill them, and uh, try this again. All right. So put my glasses on so I can see what the hell I'm doing. Should be able to put that up there. All right. Well, it says to drill a nine thirty seconds hole. I don't have a nine thirty seconds bit, so well, at least not readily available, and I don't feel like digging. So we're gonna drill ten thirty seconds after we get done making these little starter holes. ran out of room. Got that fixed. Deeper these little guys. see if it'll work now. All right, let's try it again. think that's going anywhere. Alright. So 
So that's, yeah, that's pretty stout. Seems to be pretty well sealed. Looks about the same as it did. You can, here's the foam. Everything looks reasonable. Not too bad. And, yeah, that's uh, about how it's going to go. All right, now we got to do some snipping on this stupid foam piece. So, back in a few. All right, so the center of this hole should be four inches up from the bottom edge and nine and three quarters from the right edge. I guess that's the right. Maybe. <laughs> so, let's go four inches up from here. Right on that. And nine and three quarter from here. Basically the center of this. So, that's the center of the hole, and the hole is supposed to be, what, seven and a half by three and a half. So, three and three quarters each side of this nightmare. approximately like that. All right, so now we can go see if we can figure out how to get that box stuck through here with all the wiring up on the top of the unit. All right, so basically what we got this is going to go like that. The rest of this stuff is going to go about like that. And then this thing is going to go house wiring. That thing has to get through there. But that's a pain in the tookus. Off of there. 
as they use Romex, this is very difficult. Because I do not want to disconnect all the rest of this garbage. I just really don't. connector makes it a bit tough See if we can get. What did I do? Oh, there they are. Put in the wrong pockets. See where these screws ended up. There they are. Of course, that just blew a hole out of there so big. I'll have to get a washer for it. Yep. All right. In a minute. All right, we're back. Let's try this again. Yeah, this is a uh, fiddlier than I had expected. of a chunk out of this one. Right where there's not going to be enough room <laughs> for this bolt to go through. That's perfect. Let's try it anyway. See if we can make it work. Nope. Nope. Gotta get a knife, cut a little bit of that foam. Back in a minute. Alright, let's try it again. There 
goes. Got it. Good night. That was ridiculous. And that house cord is a little short. This is how they designed it. Now I gotta see what's hanging me up over here. Phew! Okay. All right. And there it is. Good grief. Okay. So that's what we got. All that's going to have to get sealed up. They say just tape it on the inside. We're going to do both tape on the outside, probably tape and some Dicor to uh, make sure that's nice and sealed. Same thing with all of these holes and things. Yeah, that's some gloopy stuff. Put that over there, because I may have to put the cover on this thing. Finish this at a slightly later date. So, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna put the cover on this bad boy, make it, seal it up watertight, and then Pick this up and finish it later today or tomorrow. All right. I think she's ready for a test. So before I tie wrap all this stuff down and nail everything else, let's go fire it up and see what happens. Sounds like it's rubbing on something, but oh. if you can see that, that's uh. I think that's going to be uncovered when I pull that top part off again. So maybe I can straighten that out a little bit because that's terrible. <laughs> of course. Oh well. Let's get up on the roof. All right. Well, we got that recentered by tugging on that a little bit. <laughs> it's not rubbing anymore. And now we got this other doohickey. which mounts to these two holes here. Let's see what we got. Nope, not those. Sticker, directions, screwdriver. Where are they? Here they are. <laughs> okay, let's look at the direction. Okay, mount that there.
see how we're going to do this. This is going to be a little entertaining. Damn it. That's what I was afraid of. I may have to go get a longer screwdriver. Do some work on the other side. Okay. All right, so we got the wires. Now we gotta cut the zip tie on that thing. my zip ties. See if we can get the cover off of there. Alright. Now we have to run connect wires from start capacitor to run capacitor. So I guess that big bad boy is the start capacitor. Connect black to herm. There's Herm, and Herm terminal with the red wire, and connect black wire to common terminal, terminal with the white wires. So we're just gonna go, basically, doesn't say which is which, but we're gonna go, here and here. Like that. And we're gonna take our new tie of zip, slap that in there, cover back on. So let's pull that out so we can get the cover back on a little easier. Come on. Okay. Pull that all the way around. her back into its home. That guy like that. All right. So that's done. That's the hard start cap. Now, we need to start sealing up this stuff a little bit better than it has been. All right, that's that. And then we gotta tape up all of this silliness under here. <sighs> hmm. All right. Going 
to put a little bit of tape on the corners to hold them together. Seal this thing up. All right, we're going to keep on doing this for a little bit, and we'll be back once I figure out what I'm going to do to cover up that hole. All right, well that's all taped up. Got the foam tape over it and Gorilla tape over it and everybody else over it and taped everything up sideways, backwards, forwards. Sealed all the gaps. Eh, I don't know that I'm a fan, but I think it'll work. Uh, we will certainly give the Gorilla tape a test to see how long that lasts in the heat since it's outside under a black cover. So now we're gonna put this back on Go back inside and, I guess, finish it up. Alright, well, we got all the wires zip-tied up. And now we're going to try to put the bottom panels back on. See how that goes. It appears... that this line is where the plenum divider goes to line up with this in the tray. So we're going to try to get that up there, see what we got. where that goes. All right, these holes have moved a little bit. Not a big deal. These screws will make their own. There we go. Now we put this baby back together. Like that. Kind of wish this was magnetic. Move a couple of holes. All right, let's see what we got. Okay. 
Well, get it. Just doesn't look in the right direction. And now, that's about as good as it's going to get. So, let's close these up and see how it comes out the ducts. Yeah. Yep. Yep. We got some air. It's pretty good. Yeah. That's... Yeah. Yeah. Well, there it is. Feels like it's working. That is the installation of an Advent Air Coleman Mock Replacement Unit. It is uh, not necessarily straightforward. It's got quite a bit of little tweaking you got to do since it's not quite the same size. And then you got to get your wiring box hooked up. But it seems like it works. It saves you about 500 bucks. We'll keep you posted as to whether or not it's garbage. But putting out some air. A little bit. It's interesting. This side's really pumping it out. This side isn't. It's not quite as well balanced as the old unit used to be. I'm going to have to do some looking inside the plenum to uh, balance the, uh, the air, I think, because this only has one outlet versus the other one having two. But now she's cooling, so we're going to let her rip for a little while and see how it comes out. All right. Well, we will talk to you all later. Take care.